Is it permissible in Islam to point the feet towards Qibla while sleeping or sitting? There is a misconception in the Muslim Ummah that it is prohibited, it is haram to point your feet towards the Kaaba, towards the Qibla or sit or sleep while your feet is pointing towards the Qibla. Yes, there are some scholars, I mean there is, there is no evidence in the Quran or Sahih Hadith to say that it is prohibited or it's a sin to point your feet towards the Kaaba or the Qibla. However, there are few scholars who do say that it is makru, based on the verse of the Quran that the Kaaba is the symbol of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Shair Allah. It's a symbol of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah says in the Quran in Surah Hajj, chapter number 22, verse number 32, that there should be respect for the symbols of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So based on this verse, there are some scholars who have said that it is not haram, but it is makru. It is not encouraged to sit while your feet is pointing towards the Kaaba or sleep while your feet is pointing towards the Kaaba because it in the custom, in the urf, it is a sort of disrespect to point your feet towards the Kaaba. So this is the only evidence, but there is no proof in any verse of the Quran or any hadith or anything of the Prophet or any of the Saba who has ever said that pointing the feet towards the Kaaba is not permitted. It is just some of the scholars because of the urf, because of the custom, they say this. But the majority of the scholars, they say that it is permissible to sit in a position where your feet is pointing towards the Kaaba or to the Qibla, or if you sleep and your feet is pointing towards the Qibla, towards the Kaaba, it is permitted, it is mubah, it's optional. When this question was asked to Sheikh Muhammad Saleh ibn Uthaymi, that is it permissible to sit or sleep while your feet is pointing towards the Kaaba, towards the Qibla. Sheikh Ibn Taymi said it is permissible, there is no prohibition. And he further went on to say that the Quran says that if you cannot stand while praying, you sit and pray. If you cannot sit, then you lie down on your side. And he says that when you lie down on your side, your face should face towards the Qibla, towards the Kaaba. If you cannot lie on your side, you should lie on your back and pray. And while you are lying on the back and praying and your face pointing towards the Kaaba, but natural, your feet also point towards the Kaaba. Because if you are lying flat on the bed and you are praying to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and if you want your face to point towards the Qibla, by default, even your feet will point towards the Kaaba and that's permitted. There are people who many a time when they sit on the floor when they pray and if they have a knee problem, they have a problem in the joint and they cannot bend their knee. So they, they stretch their knee and since they are facing the Kaaba, even their feet facing the Kaaba and that's permitted. So it is basically in the Islamic Sharia, it is bubah, it's optional. There is no prohibition that your feet should not point towards the Kaaba while you are sitting or while you are praying. But since this is the culture, mainly in the Indian subcontinent or maybe in India or Pakistan or Bangladesh, that they don't like pointing the feet. So if a person is living in India, Pakistan or Bangladesh, if he is going to the mosque to pray, I feel it is preferable he takes the precaution that while he sits, his feet should not point towards the Kaaba. Though there is no prohibition, but if it's an orf and if the many people think it is disrespect, it is preferable he does not point towards the Kaaba when he's sitting in the mosque. But as per the ruling of the Islamic Sharia, it is permitted and there is no harm in doing that. Hope that answers the question.